This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So the former unified heavyweight champion of the world, well, for damn near a decade he was reigning, Vladimir Klitschko has spoken about the Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Anthony Joshua rematch on December the 7th in Saudi Arabia. And of course, he's backing Anthony Joshua to get the win, and he wants Anthony Joshua to get the win, more importantly. And this is what Vladimir Klitschko had to say. I definitely look forward to the rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr., the champion, and Anthony Joshua. I really do look forward to it in December. We know that Anthony has lost, and as anyone can lose, now we're going to watch how he's going to manage this challenge to become champion again. I could think anything, but the reality is, is that everyone can lose a fight, but not everyone can recover. It's the next challenge, and I really wish to Anthony that he's going to make it. No disrespect to Andy Ruiz, and I think he's done an amazing job, but I've always been a fan of AJ since we fought and met. To both fighters, I wish good luck, let the strongest win, and I just really hope that Anthony's going to make it. Vladimir I mean, Klitschko's statement. So, quite clearly, I mean, it's no great surprise that Klitschko wants Anthony Joshua to win. Why? Because it was Anthony Joshua that uh, forced Vladimir I mean, Klitschko into retirement after these guys had a hellacious fight. It was an absolutely fantastic fight, where both guys hit the deck and Anthony Joshua got the stoppage win where Joshua became the first person to stop Vladimir Klitschko in over a decade. Um, but first of all, Andy Ruiz Jr. Listen, let's be real about it. Anybody who knew Andy Ruiz Jr. before that fight knew that Andy Ruiz Jr. was a very, very capable opponent. We knew his fighting style. We knew that Joshua, he's not too comfortable with the shorter fighters and ones that throw combination after combination, Joshua's gonna get hit but it was how Joshua was gonna nullify the attack that a lot of us were interested in and believed, of course, that he would actually get the win, but in a very tough fight. Ultimately, that one big left hook changed the whole dynamic of the rest of the fight in, the, in round number three, and Joshua somehow managed to go another four rounds by being quite clearly concussed after round three. Now, what's gonna happen in the rematch is anyone's guess, of course it is. And as Vladimir Klitschko says, that anyone can lose, and it's absolutely true, when, especially a heavyweight, one punch can change everything, as it proved in this fight, as it proves with many fights. But it's all about the mindset now. Can Anthony Joshua rise up and become a two-time heavyweight champion of the world? Many of you guys who watched the Vladimir Klitschko career will know that uh, he took, was it uh, about three losses, I think it was, before he managed to cement his style and then become world champion and maintained his title for a 10 year period virtually. So Vladimir Klitschko, he had the mindset and the belief in himself that taking a loss or two here and there, no great deal, but at some point when I nailed down my style, I'm gonna remain unbeaten for a very, very long time. And Vladimir Klitschko did that. So the question is, can Anthony Joshua does he have the strong mindset to just forget about the fact that he took a loss? Because in this rematch, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Anthony Joshua. Because not only is he going over to Saudi Arabia, where there's like a lot of controversy with the boxing fans not too happy about the fight happening over there. I mean, for me, listen, I couldn't really care less where the fight happens as long as the fight happens, right? And a lot of people have also said that Anthony Joshua shouldn't take the rematch straight away as well. He should use his time to learn his craft a lot more because he's been in the deep end ever since his, what, 17th fight, 16th fight even, which is way too early for most people, but he managed to continue. And bearing in mind, Joshua's only had 23 fights. He took a loss on his 23rd fight. Most fighters don't even get a world title shot at this point, okay? They continue to learn. But ultimately, Joshua, he wants to get his titles back and he wants revenge on the guy who defeated him. And he's very confident that he's gonna do it, going by what it is that Joshua said. But when it comes down to it, when these guys are actually step, stepping foot in the ring, how's Joshua gonna be? Is he gonna get nervous? Is the pressure gonna be on him? All this kind of thing. Andrew is junior, he's gonna be very, very confident because he's already got a win over Anthony Joshua and he knows if he lands on Joshua again, there's a very good chance that he could end up stopping Joshua again. But Joshua, again, he's gonna to have to be very, very focused on this one and learn to slip some of the basic shots okay because it was a pretty basic shot that did hit him but as i said before it's heavyweight shots do get through from time to time and he was junior very very fast handed overlooked by so many people but ultimately this is going to be down to anthony joshua's mindset 
If he can become a two-time heavyweight champion of the world, already he's starting to get into a very, very small elite group by becoming a two-time heavyweight champion of the world. But Lama Klitschko, of course, he's backing Anthony Joshua. We're all backing Anthony Joshua as well, or most of us at least. And hopefully, hopefully he gets the job done. Andy Ruiz Jr., he's changed his life by that one win. He's already a millionaire now, and, and that rematch is going to put even more money into his pocket. Andy Ruiz Jr. has nothing more to prove now. Hopefully, that, that is Andy Ruiz Jr.'s uh, mindset. So he's okay about taking a loss. But ultimately, we don't know, do we? Maybe this is going to fire him up to make sure that he gets the win and more big fights going forward. We'll have to wait and see how it happens. Anyway, you drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.